Hey everybody, take a look at this video and I think we need to have a conversation. So typical, let's blame the one parent who stayed. This is why in our culture as black people, when the boys turn a certain age, the men come and get him and take him away from the mama because she can emotionally manipulate him. But since we don't live in our culture no more, we say what we want to say, do what we want to say. We tear our men down and then wonder why they don't make good husbands and fathers. Let's, I'm going to stop you right there. We tear our men down and wonder why they don't make good husbands and fathers. Let's see. That's not what they're used to. It's not part of the culture. This is a hashtag create a fatherless home culture. So you're trying to blame black women on the reason they don't make good fathers and husbands, but they sure know how to create a baby mama, become a baby daddy, and then the kids to eat and sleep got to look to black women and zaddy. The mammy biscuits are astounding, unbelievable. So it's black women's fault that they don't make good husbands and fathers. It's black women's fault. No accountability. This reminds me just like the video I did about that young fool that got himself fired from that job. I don't know the idiot like that. You should have said something. Black women are blamed for everything. The mammy biscuits on the, on the plate need to be put in the trash. We wonder why they don't make good husbands and fathers because that's not who they are. It's not in their DNA, lady. We say what we want to say. We So the black women are manipulating their kids, their sons. Is that what's going on here? Well, if that's the case, and if the man is worth a darn, how about you come pick up your son and show him how it's done? How about that? If that's the case then, and that's what's going on, and these guys are so great, and they're worth it to be fathers and husbands, but hey, black woman, it's the, you're, you're the reason that they're not. We wonder why we turn them down. We don't have to do jack. The ashes alone, they tear themselves down as a collective. You, this, you really have your nerve. The audacity of you. We, so everything is the black woman's fault? So the black woman is emotionally manipulating her son, their children. Well, if that's the case, if she is doing, if black women are doing it like so wrong, why don't the fathers come and pick up the kids and show them how it's done? Come pick up your son and show her how it's done. I said before on this channel, <coughs> excuse me, you could put, <coughs> excuse me, you could put all the kids, you can say, hey, we're going to put the kids in this hotel in every city, all the um, single mothers, bring the kids here, okay? Now, the, the father has a week to come and pick up his child. If he's not here within a week to pick up the child, then your child is going to go to foster care. You and I both know a whole lot of them are going to foster care because the fathers are not going to show up. When are these men accountable for their own action? This is crazy to me. And some poor woman, probably like the one on the screen right here, is looking at her and thinking, oh, I'm so wrong. Why, why is your man not in the home? Where's your wedding uh, ring? Where's the proposal? Where's the house he can put you in? You can build together. Where is his part? Where's the uh, proposal? Where's the wedding ring? Where's the marriage? Where's the home? Where's the life insurance? Where's the policy? Where's the paperwork on his portfolio where you are the beneficiary? Where, where are those things? Oh, they're not there. That's right. Because you know what? They're not there. Because a man is not there and he is not there because, believe it or not, Miss Van Zandt, he don't care. That's why he's not there. Blame the black woman for everything. You got to be kidding me at this point. crazy blame the black woman for everything well since the black woman is doing so wrong she should do a PSA and have all the black fathers come and pick up your son 
in particular, especially your, your son. Come pick him up. Wonder why they don't make good husbands and good fathers? Because it's not in our DNA, lady. That's what the problem is. This is the culture. They like fatherless homes. Then they get out there. I'm going to be a rapper and pop, 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 and do all this. Look up. Every time look up, some nigga going to drop down at 50. Dead at 50. I ain't even thinking about doing no shit because Bob trying to be trying to hook up. And you know what? I don't care. That's what they chose. Let me guess. I bet that's a black woman's father. He up to a dying at 50. Look at all the hip hop artists. Can anybody reach 55, 65, 70? Sitting up here up in a hospital. I'm supposed to be popping. And I'm popped out. Oh, now you want your cheering. Really now, sir? I don't think so. Where have you been? We wonder why they make good husbands and fathers because that's not in their DNA. The culture pushes fatherless home and everything is on a black woman. Whenever something goes wrong, the black woman, she should have chose better. Well, maybe you don't need to choose them. That's why it blows my mind when I see even this day and age. Who gonna care to see the poverty D? Well, that lady, that's on you. Good, good luck with it. Caring to see the poverty D. We wonder why they don't make good husbands and fathers because it's just not in their DNA. I, well, how else can you explain it? fatherless home and then a black man that does that oh let me guess he's considered a simp because he actually you know didn't create a baby mama but he actually has a wife and you go to work every day provide for your fit man you simp the culture has adapted ignorance it just permeates the group permeates the group ignorance and anything backwards hey hey anything backwards just loving it just loving it It's a black woman's fault. We want we say anything we want to our men, or, or hell yeah, they do whatever they want to. Who want to sit up to us? Who want to be no offense, be docile to us, submit to us, broke butt? I think the hell not. I can be broke on my own. It's no excuse. It's, it's no excuse. What if all these? Uh, <clears throat> let's be real. What if? All these fatherless homes, they got a felony. A felony can't do jack about not you, you. There's nothing you you can't get a job. Guess what? There's no reason why you can't learn to trade. I'm doing stuff right now. It's been a busy weekend. I I was gonna go through my emails and upload videos and some other stuff came. And I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm trying to help now. I might be gotta do something different. Not bragging. I did eleven thousand dollars what I made last week watching this screen trading Q Q Q calls. I had maybe like two puts, you know, lost some money on that, and then I made some money on uh um on a put or two, but the rest I did all calls. This week, unless I'm making news breaks, I'm doing calls again. Uh, they know how to run the streets and do a pharmaceutical business. You, you know, no, no, you know how to do numbers. So you can't learn to trade options. Let me say you can learn how and do your own strategy. What I do, I'm not going to be, I can't teach it because guess what? I go with my gut feeling. I said to somebody who said, I want to make some money. I said, is it Thursday? Okay. I think the cues was going down. I said, go ahead and do a four or five call. I said, I'm doing it, do a four or five call. It's going down. Uh, yeah, do a 405 call, but it's going down. Hello, it's called buy the dip, dummy, and you know that, which I didn't say that, buy the dip. So when it goes up, I said, I think it's going to go up. So you, you 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 called me. I said, do a 405 call. Friday morning, pre-market, it was uh 416.63, then 416.31, then an opening bill. I think it went around like 415 and some change. I knew when my phone rang at 8, 10, Friday morning, that's one of the first things I do before I get my coffee. I'll even have that phone boop, 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 and just plug in a few t tickers. When the phone rang, I already knew what was up. Why? Because I'd already checked the QQQ stock price pre-market. Yeah, it was going down, so I did a put. And I thought about it. That's why you told me to do a four or five call. Yeah, that, that's why I told you that. 
but I did put what's my name on my uh cash app? What do I have my little nickname as? What? Dip by girl. Not I'm not asking you off any money. But what's my name on my cash app? I, I told the person, dip by a girl. What have I told you before? A little moniker, a little nickname that I like. Dip by a girl. Why? Because I buy the dip. Person didn't listen. Oh, you're going to do the opposite. What you calling me for? Now you see. Well, I'm glad you do. Why can't these Dusties uh, learn how to trade? They got people now. You can pay them a certain amount of money. And you can watch them trade and duplicate it if you want to. He got a friend. He can't get a job. You better learn how to do something. Uh, they're, they're all, I've seen black men. Man, they got some black men out of prison. They sitting up here flipping houses. Making money on that. They got some dude. They say he's an ace on Wall Street and worse. He in prison. So you're out. What's the excuse? And even if they could do it, guess what? The money probably ended up at the strip, at the, uh, strip club. So while your baby mother's going to work, maybe you can make some money trading. Whatever works for you. Because what works for me, I mean, I work for everybody. That's why I don't tell you what to do. I'm just, you know, sharing my information. Why you can't build a family off that? I said, I think it's going to pop. Ergo, it did pop. Made 11000 Hallelujah. We'll see what happens this week. It would be nice. No, no guarantee. Something might could go down. Why? I'm doing what I want to do. People doing what they want to do. They don't do a background check to see if you can go ahead and work. work on, you can go ahead and trade. Start a business. A side hustle. Maybe marry your baby mother. Maybe don't create a baby mama. Maybe try marriage first and try to work together if that works. But what you don't want to do is create a fatherless home and then run off. And they can go and create a fatherless home. And guess what? Everything goes wrong. Who thought it? The black woman. Just like that young fool that lost that job. They call, He's a turn down group. They're saying, hey, let's give information. Anybody have any ideas to share how we can trim the bottom line? Make the processes more, you know, um, more... Um, profitable you know improve things that ain't gonna work nah 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 he just kept on with that nah 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 and they nah 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 fired him and what does big mama say she should have said something out of all of that <laughs> unbelievable black women are blamed for everything we wonder why they don't make good husbands and fathers because obviously all i can say at this point is not in the dna and that's all i can say and the black man that does that he's considered a simp not in the DNA. Then, the, then you have some that, oh, I go to work and I pay half the bills and take care of my kids. He think he deserves an accolade. Why? Because you know how the rest of them operate. We're not going to give out no medal for doing mediocre. That's what you should be doing. The Mammy Biscuits. We wonder why. So if black women are doing it all wrong, Miss Van Zandt, yeah, if that's the case, then if these men are really men and if they really care about their seed guess what all they have to do is go pick up their son and show the single baby mama that they created how it's done and i'm out